Well, I don't know. Zabel doesn't have any kind of costume on tonight. No. No, just my normal hair, Rudolph Vasilino, right here. <laughs> That's me. There you go. All right. All right. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We're starting to get a clear picture of why prized recruit Jeff Walker left the University of Iowa. Iowa City Police have issued an arrest warrant for Walker. He's accused of using a stolen ATM card to withdraw $1,400. Walker was supposed to turn himself into police last Friday, but did not do so. Hawkeye coach Tom Davis said he was unaware Walker was in any trouble when he left school. The Quad City Times also reports Walker ran up a $2,400 phone bill in Iowa, and Walker claims he thought his scholarship would cover that bill. Walker averaged 25 points a game at his Springfield, Illinois high school. He earned first team All-State honors and had a chance to be a starting guard for the Iowa Hawkeyes, but now apparently that's all over. Well, who will pitch for the Cardinals in game six tonight? No one would say, especially manager Tony La Russa, he's been trying a little Hayden Fry-like psychology. But finally, La Russa has made his choice, and it's this guy, Alan Bennis. The rookie, he's only 24, Braves counter with uh, four-time Cy Young Award winner Greg Maddox. Atlanta is fresh off a 14-zip shelling of St. Louis on Monday night. 14 to nothing? That sounds like the Falcons and the Rams, not the Braves and the Cardinals. Hey, man, let's get back to baseball. In the American League, the big topic of conversation is Daryl Strawberry's toe. That's right. And what a conversation that must be. The straw man fouled a pitch off his right foot in the Yankees' last game, and x-rays revealed a small crack in the bone of his toe. Strawberry said there's no way a bad toe is going to keep him out of the lineup. I think this guy could hit a home run with or without an injured toe. Well, time to have some fun as we celebrate the great sport of college football. Man, it is great, isn't it? With some of the best plays I've seen this year. College football, I love it. Wild and crazy college football. I love it, I love it, I love it. Well, you've made your choice in this week's uh, Wright Chevrolet NFL Telepick, and it's Pittsburgh at Houston. 54% of you opted for the second choice, Steelers versus Oilers, while 46% picked the Ravens and the Broncos. I'm sure more people would have chosen the Ravens if they weren't named after a poem. Edgar Allan Poe. He comes from uh, Hawaii. Well, what happened to all those Bronco fans? Well, I don't know where they are now. They're uh, they're hiding out there in Is Denver. Is Poe related to Vaselino? Uh, <laughs> Rudolph Vaselino and Edgar Allan Poe. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. We'll be back with one more check on your forecast.